get ready to jump into chapter two, Smoke and Mirrors. Let's go. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big V, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? <laughs> Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill him. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels, and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Just fucking laugh, dog. Come sniffing around this place now with a rich fuck set of worms. Need to shake in that right big baby. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but by much it's the recap first chapter I wonder why I skipped the part with uh, Lawrence I, I went through it again and I saved him Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? No. Please. Please. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. I'm gonna depart from the Black Panther 2. We have to go now. What are you doing here? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. That's so sweet, man. Part of Men in Black. That, uh, that little sound reminded me of Black Panther 2 when the sea people were coming up. That was actually pretty creepy in the movie, though. Coming up to uh, attack that ship. anything. Fine. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling. He just must have had some sort of accomplice. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Sharp, Whitman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. 
I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. It's a lot. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. You ready, Sheriff? Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What uh, are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. I just want to talk, see what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. Why Bluebeard look like freaking Rude from Final Fantasy VII? Sounds like a two. Woodsman. You gotta talk to me, because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like, to be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. You wanna tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Taxes pay for this shit. Anyone can see this is... Snow wasn't supposed to be where? At the woodlands? This... just leave it alone, all right? What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. 
I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. We'll see if it's a waste of time. After you tell us what you know. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Help me help you, Woody. Let me get you out of here. I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. This whole thing sucks. This is really... what's the point of this? <coughs> Thanks. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. <laughs> Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? I can't... just... just let me go. Please. Where was this girl supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? The girl... it was... Faith, all right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh... I don't know. Talk. Now. No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Faith wasn't supposed to be there. Who'd you expect, and why? I don't know. I don't know. Strength. You ever sober? Let me. Let me get a swig of that. Want some? Troops. Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Oops. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. We went missing. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid. She did her thing. That was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually conked me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't, don't tell anyone, baby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. Can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. Because my best is a whole lot better than this. He's talking, all right? My methods work fine. No, they don't. <sighs> They're not working at all. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. 
Back off, Bluebeard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How the heck is she alive, man? Her head was just lopped off. Type of magic. Maybe there's a shapeshifter? That's crazy. Stay true for the woodsman. I told him I wasn't gonna hurt him. So. I don't. I didn't think the woodsman did it anyway. I think the story he told was true. So. We don't know what happened to Lily though. There's another girl missing. Someone's. Clown needs to be fired. He trash. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? You doing a lot? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Didn't even abuse him in prison. So, nope. I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or, at least to figure out who she is. That's not your job, Snow. Someone had to take care of it. Go ahead and remember that, man. Something's weird. Snow? What is it? I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead... At some point, they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. All right, Snow. I'm sorry. You're cool, but. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. Save I can take peace. care of myself. All right, cool. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right.
trust this Snow White. Uh, probably not even her. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Stay right, don't worry, man. no harm done. You all right, Big B? You're on thin ice, Toad. Don't test me. No need to get all worked up. It ain't a big deal. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too! Cause... cause she had... Rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Okay, stop. Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Look, Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Oh, shut up. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said, they said, stop laughing at me. Do you know whose voice it was? No. Sheriff. Did you see who it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Did you hear anything else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. I, I want to go home. Okay. You can go. 
Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. A trooper, TJ. Like your lion daddy. That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. Talk to that. When you're ready. Still can't even tell me anything. Keep letting me track of this. Oh, we can. So I'm not coming in this room anymore. Interact with that. I feel like something's gonna happen. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Okay. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm done with you. Yes. Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Figures. You. Worth a shot. Uh, see what Holly did. Mirror, mirror, show me Holly the troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. Okay, Mirror, can you see where the fuck is Tweedledee? Brother, I don't know. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Look out. Mess up the questions. So going forward, if I mess up on something, I'll save it for a new playthrough. Only reason why I went back and did the uh, thing with uh, Lawrence is because I really wanted to save him. But I'm not going to do that again because I'm going to stick to my uh, decisions going forward. Snow's perfume. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. That's why I didn't act like too crazy. Well, he treated her like poo poo. He still somewhat cared. Pity these can't solve murders. Well, that's appropriate. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. Buddy. 
So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Got the attitude, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Don't get mad at me. Bluebeard was the one beating on the prisoner. Can't lay a finger on the guy. And don't get mad at me for caring about you. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? I need to investigate or not. Gosh. Trip. Flowers. Yeah. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. 
Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? She was using Mundy drugs. Pretty heavily, too, judging by the track marks on her legs. Track marks? Isn't there... Uh, there are diseases? I don't think she has to worry about that now. No. No, of course not. We should... Keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. There 
Those heck don't make controllers like they used to. This is an 8 bit dough Xbox controller. I got some 8 bit doughs for the freaking Switch. Those things look beautiful. Yeah, no drift on those. It's Xbox ones. Not surprised though, man. Oh my gosh. Can't. Yeah. Looks like a looks like a deer or something. Oh, I wish this thing would stop moving on its own. Someone at some time got to locker her hair so they could do it. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Oh. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, snap. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Like that no wasn't anything. there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I, didn't say it was I guess it just slipped through the cracks. So maybe Holly knows. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Hey, man. She already gave me a freaking mouthful. She wants to go put herself in danger. So be it. Hot if she dies, but whatever. She made her decision. Yeah, she's my favorite. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Entertainment. This will do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. 
Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually... Have there been any updates on my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite muddly. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Bogard, would you? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. 
She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was looking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Lawrence is mentioned in Georgie. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm, not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> really? Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Pet club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Go into the situation hostile, man. I'm gonna get people to cooperate that way. Especially after the last time you visit there. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times? Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. 
You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! <laughs> you! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. Um... There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. <laughs> hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now.
Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Enough. Maybe it would get you off me back. Okay. Trapdoor. Safe. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. You fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Open. Hurry up. Bloody come on, men! Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl's. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. Girl the girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello, business office. been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily, well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. 
Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? I need 150. It's not good to be short. I'm kind of broke. Wait here for a second. Seven? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Taxi cab. We didn't hear him. Great movie. Jimmy Foster. Can't remember the guy that played the pimp, but he was in Pulp Fiction. He was the wolf. He's a great actor. or anything like the lobby they should cut their rates they should probably repair that Ugh. she'll kill you
want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, it's not uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he... He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I hmm. thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. I don't want to be no part of so your mess. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered. Last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Quick, then. Shoot. I gotta find a way to get into Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How oh. could you do this to me? <laughs> no, sweetie, no. Uh. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love... It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? 
No, no, Beast, I promise I'm not. I'm helping him, that's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Uh, hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you. We don't have to do this. Just... Calm down and... Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! Is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. It's a gang of blue. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh, your butt oh to stay. Don't uh, touch anything. Is this... Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... So that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Well, you were the dude from the start. Got a nice bite. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. We shouldn't even be in here. Stay in the hall. He brought wine. Classy. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not.
What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he marked this page because he likes the sight of a helpless person. It's about power for our Mr. Smith. He likes to be in control. What the hell? Like he can't deal with people when they're awake? That makes him some kind of crazy, insecure deviant. Maybe he killed her just because she woke up. Jesus. the story kind of want to see what's in here poor girl I got this controller someone's been rough with this dress it's torn oh no she must have been wearing it he killed her and then and then he took it back off no there's no blood on it it must have been torn some other time what? What are you thinking? The rips in the dress make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. He's a violent man. Well, do you need the dress obviously. to tell you that? He's not just a freak. He's a violent freak. I think that's pretty clear. Could have oh chose God. the Snow that White option. Girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... It sounds like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for this table. She must have been so scared. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Let me see if I can examine that dress again. Dang it. I knew when I was making the choice, I should have chose what I was gonna do. Dad, get choose. it together, beauty. Be strong. I can't get that book anymore. I should have chosen the Snow White option because he has some type of obsession with Snow White. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Sure, 
thing. I think I botched the dress stricken thing. Smell something? No. Just apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. That psycho makes her act out a scene with a fake poison apple, and then he cuts her head off for real. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's into sexual violence as well as regular violence. Does she know the head got Apparently. cut off? I, I hope you're just about, about through. I don't, think I've I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I don't think I said anything about her getting decapitated. How does she know that detail? Pictures of the dead girl. Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. be after you now good i am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel Yeah, man. I know his rotten butt wasn't really feeling bad. Yes. I had to keep my promise to him I wasn't going to beat him. Yeah. She was going to do what she wanted to anyway, so I might as well have her come with me and be safe. Plus, she helped me out in the bar. All right, so that was chapter two. See you guys in chapter three.
Well, after these credits. But, uh, yeah, that was crazy. I was just like, I was Snow White alive. But, glamour. Figured it was probably magic after a while, but still, you didn't know what to think. You didn't know if that was an imposter Snow White or what, but I'm glad she's not dead. a good chapter man so far the first two chapters are really good um, I'm glad that you get to restrain yourself in, in fights you don't have to go all out but, uh, yeah I made a dumb mistake about the dress but hopefully that doesn't mess up the rest of the investigation I don't know why I picked the option I picked. It was stupid, but I think I'm covered with the apple and stuff. So I'm trying to remember. Did he say anything about her being decapitated? Because how the heck did Beauty even know that? Unless I'm pretty sure everybody found out about Snow White, so that could be how she put that together. start the next chapter soon I'll see you guys in the next video after these credits go off if you like the content thumbs up subscribe spread my channel so I can get more people to watch and I thank you bye